And we are following breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. The kid who has been called the next LeBron James has made a decision about his future. Amani Bates this afternoon verbally committing to Michigan State. More about Amani Bates. He's out of Epsilon in Michigan, just 16 years old. So how good is this kid? He is the number one recruit in the class of 2022. According to our partners at 24-7 Sports, he is considered the best high school prospect in the country regardless of class. He won the Gatorade National Boys Basketball Player of the Year, the first sophomore to ever do it, and yes, he has been compared to LeBron James, of all people. All right, let's talk more about this afternoon. Imani Bates verbally committing to Michigan State. Let's bring in Zach Poff with Max Preps. Uh, Zach, were you surprised by his announcement? Yeah, I, I really was because I didn't know if he was going to end up going the college route. So I wasn't sure if he's going to commit this early. And it's funny, man. You jump on Twitter, you see everything from him potentially signing with Clutch Sports and a bunch of other rumors going on. So it, it was relieving that he did come out and announce that he's committing to Michigan State. And, uh, you know, you look at Imani Bates. He was a Max Pretz All-American. You mentioned he was the first sophomore to win Gatorade National Player of the Year. And in my opinion, he is the best high school basketball talent since LeBron James. Last year, you saw him as a sophomore drop 63 in a game. He averaged over 30 points and 10 rebounds. And Tom Enzo, man, this dude's probably still dancing five minutes later after the announcement. Imani Bates is the type of guy that can make an impact at the college level if he does play as a true freshman, as we saw Zion Williamson have at Duke. So big time get from Michigan State and you can take it to the bank. They're probably going to be the favorites to win the national championship if Imani Bates steps on the court and plays as a true freshman. Why do you think he decided to go the college route? Uh, you know, he has a great relationship with Michigan State. You know, they, they've been recruiting him since he was in seventh grade and uh, I, I think he just feels home. You know, he's a Michigan kid. He, he wants to stay home. So if he does end up playing college basketball, there's no better place for him than Michigan State. And I think he just has that trust relationship with Tom Izzo and the staff at Michigan State. And I, I strongly believe that, you know, he could go Mateen Cleaves and bring Michigan State a, a national title if he goes that route. Following breaking news, you may roll your eyes when you hear it, but listen closely when we say he could be the next LeBron James. Bonnie Bates announcing his decision this afternoon about his future, verbally committing to Michigan State. So will it actually happen? The 16-year-old out of Ypsilanti, Michigan, the number one recruit in the class of 2022, according to our partners at 24-7 Sports, and he is considered the best high school prospect in the country, regardless of class. As just a sophomore, the youngest player to ever do so. He won the National Boys Basketball Player of the Year, the Gatorade National Boys Basketball Player of the Year. And yes, he is considered one of the best prospects ever to see his stats there. All right, let's bring in Gary Parrish to talk about this. Imani Bates making his decision. Uh, and Gary, we do need to note this is a verbal commitment. Things could possibly change, right, Gary? Uh, definitely, and I, I think Imani sort of hinted at that while he was announcing his commitment to Michigan State. He said um, in his own words, um, I'm not sure what the future holds, but I am committing to Michigan State. What that means to me is that if he goes to college, he intends to play at Michigan State University, but it does not mean that he's definitely going to college. Obviously, this G League program is still an option. Overseas is still an option. Who knows exactly whether preps will be allowed to enter the NBA draft by the time he graduates high school? If so, that's clearly an option. So if you're a Michigan State fan, uh, celebrate it. You should. If you're a Michigan State coach, uh, be excited. But we are still a ways between Amani Bates announcing what he announced today and him actually stepping uh, on the court inside the Breslin Center. So, so we're talking, Gary, about somebody who is 16 years old. As I mentioned a couple times now, he has been uh, compared to LeBron's, uh, possibly Kevin Durant, the next one of those. When you have so many options on the table and you are just 16 years old, college, G League, overseas, how do you even begin to navigate what could be the best decision for him? 
Well, what you hope is he's surrounded uh, by good people. You saw in his announcement his entire family uh, was there. And you hope that you know they just look out for the long-term future of the young man because um, certainly there have been other players, perhaps not hyped to this extent, but other players can sin considered can't-miss prospects at the same age. And because of the decisions of the adults around them to move them around while in high school, to juggle them here and there, to pick this school instead of that school, um, it is not always um, a simple process. It can become overwhelming. And so uh, I will tell you that, you know, I, I saw Imani Bates play uh, last summer, um, I believe at Peach Jam, and uh, he was terrific and, and seemed to be um, not overwhelmed by the moment, even though he was the centerpiece of everything at a, at a very, very young age. And uh, to the comparisons with LeBron James, I'd say this. He plays more like Kevin Durant than LeBron James. When you watch him, you see more KD than you do King James. But in terms of being the next great thing, uh, like LeBron was once considered, this is probably the closest we've seen since LeBron James back in 2003. I'll put it this way. I remember back in the early 2000s when I would talk to college coaches about LeBron James, and he was the one prospect everybody agreed on. Nobody thought he was overhyped. Nobody thought he was a possible bust. Everybody genuinely believed he was an incredible talent destined to do great things. And um, I hear and have witnessed similar things with Imani Bates. The, he is hyped incredibly, but I wouldn't say it's overhyped. He is very much just as great as, as people say he is. Gary, I, I want to dive into that a little bit. I want you to convince me and the people watching now they hear, yes, he could be the next LeBron or KD or something like that. You mentioned just how elite he is, but, but why? What did you see in him that gives you the faith he could be that next great name out there? Well, he's six foot nine at 16 years old, which suggests he's going to still grow. And he, you could easily see in him, you know, hitting six eleven, seven foot, perhaps even taller than that. And though a lot of people, because of players like Kevin Durant and Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, a lot of players that size try to play on the perimeter because they've now grown up watching players their size play on the perimeter. But they're not all skilled enough to do it. Amani Bates, at such an early age, is skilled enough to do it. He is an elite shot creator, an elite shot maker. He's not just somebody who wants to play on the perimeter. He is a six foot nine, 16 year old who is very comfortable, very smooth, totally fluid playing on the perimeter. Simply put, the same way KD can go hunt a shot in any possession, Amani Bates is able to do that at the amateur level, and there's really no reason to think he won't also be able to do that at a high level once he gets to the NBA. All right, Gary, we do have our good friend Matt Norlander uh, joining us now to talk about this breaking news. Imani Bates verbally committing to Michigan State. Uh, do we have Matt? Is he ready? All right, Matt Norlander, uh, tell us just your first initial reaction to hearing Imani Bates verbally committing there to Michigan State. The timing is genuinely surprising, and this uh, came as a surprise to pretty much everyone in the industry, I can tell you that. I mean, Amani Bates still in the class of 2022. He is not reclassified. A little bit of murmurs over whether that would come today if he was going to say, I want to graduate in class of 2021. That is not the case. We have the news of him uh, and his family starting a prep school. But the Michigan State commitment this far out, Amanda, I haven't had time to research this yet. But I'm wondering the last time, if ever, we have had a number one rated player in a high school class commit to a college more than two years out from when that player would actually enroll for a fall semester. This might be the earliest commitment we've ever seen from a number one rated prospect in men's basketball history. It is intriguing. The school is not surprising, though, Amanda, not at all. I mean, I wrote an, an in-depth, detailed story last summer when I was embedded with Imani Bates and his team, his father, his camp at the Nike Peach Jam. And what was interesting was at that time, there was a lot of presumption in college basketball circles, I think amongst coaches and teams, but even some media that Imani Bates is ultimately going to not play college basketball. There was a presumption, a wrong one, that the NBA and the NBA Players Association were going to change the age limit before Imani Bates would be eligible to make that jump. That's still not the case. We might not have a change in an age limit from 19 to 18, Amanda, until 2024 when the CBA renews. And so because of all of that, 
Imani and his father insisted to me 11 months ago, almost 12 months ago, that college was always going to be an option. So uh, the timing of it to me is surprising, but the fact that he picked Michigan State was not surprising. This has been the one school nearby to where he lives in Ypsilanti that has had an edge the entire time and has consistently recruited him. And now, for now, it does pay off. We'll wait and see where he is at come 2022, but this is a significant get, obviously, for Tom Izzo and Michigan State, because if nothing else, even if he does or does not eventually wind up playing there, you cannot deny Imani Bates' magnificent impact on Tom Izzo and that staff's ability to recruit five-star players going forward for the near term. And Matt, we were talking to Gary, and he said, look, I mean, and, and as you mentioned, there's still, he's only 16 years old. He is so far out. Uh, what are the chances that you give it, if you put a percentage number on it or just how you're feeling, that he actually does, in fact, make it to Michigan State and not go elsewhere? So what are we on, June 29th? June 29th, 2020, I will put it at 70% that Imani Bates plays a one and done season for Tom Izzo at Michigan State. The only factor that I am seeing that would prevent that is if he is, if he decides to go the professional route, whether that's the G League pathway program or overseas and sees a money-making opportunity that is so significant that ultimately he decides it's not gonna be worth it to play college. But it's so important to put into context, uh, I mean, go read the story at cbsports.com, Google my name, Matt Norland, Armani Bates, it will come up. What his father has said about the what he sees as an importance to playing college basketball, how much it actually meant to Imani to be recruited, and how Imani actually felt a little bit jaded at the age of 14, 15, when blue blood programs simply weren't knocking on their door because there was this presumption that he was not even going to consider college. Now we see that's not necessarily the case, but I don't think it's an automatic. I think it is more likely than not. I would also keep an eye on Cade Cunningham at Oklahoma State for this upcoming season if we are able to have an actual college basketball season or some semblance of it because Cade Cunningham could have bolted on Oklahoma State, which is not eligible to play in the 2021 NCAA tournament, but he is staying in college despite having the ability easily of making more than a million dollars in the next few months here, but instead he's going to play in college. So if he has a really good go of it, maybe that also can have some sort of impact on Imani Bates' uh, decision here. But I will also say, kind of behind the curtain a little bit, I get the sense that this commitment not just shocked uh, college basketball media, I think that Michigan State was not expecting this today. I, I, I've been in touch with the staff as of late, and while there was an anticipation that there was going to be an announcement about the Bates family starting their own prep program, uh, him committing now, I think actually it's a, it's a wonderful surprise for Tom Izzo and his staff. I don't believe that they thought that it, Bates was actually going to announce his intentions to play for Michigan State as early as he did. So a huge recruiting win for that program, obviously. Matt, I mean, you talked about just the surprise there uh, for you, for us here at HQ across the college basketball landscape, why did they make that announcement today? What I mean, I mean, I'm not sure any of us will really know, but if you could make some sort of guess, do you have any idea why? Yeah, I've got a project here. I mean, I would love to hopefully ideally talk with uh, with Bates' father and mother at some point soon here to get uh, a little more clarification. Uh, potentially, may, listen, there are many factors that, that, that could be the reason for this. One, um, uh, the Bates family is, I wouldn't call them necessarily like no nonsense, but they've been very invested in Imani's future. And this is a way of eliminating a lot of noise and just general conjecture about, okay, is Imani Bates going to play in college? Who's going to recruit him? Where's he's going to go? We know now that if he plays, it's Michigan State. So any other school that might have thought they could get in on Bates like right now in the, in the summer and maybe kind of backdoor it, that door has now been closed. So it, I, I think it eliminates maybe the riffraff, a little bit of the noise, while obviously still keeping open his option to play professionally immediately coming out of high school. We have to be important to note and be clear with viewers that Bates, did, he did essentially couch the commitment. He said, I don't know what's to come in the future, but I'm committed to play for Michigan State. That's his way of saying, um, you know, if, if there is an alternative for me professionally, I may wind up taking it. But the big news is that, you know, Two years out from his high school graduation, the number one rated player in the country and someone who's been evaluated by people who have been in this business for decades as one of the three or four best high school prospects of the 21st century has decided to play for Michigan State and done so two years out. It's a, it's a heck of a news story and certainly a surprise. All right, Matt Norlander, thank you so much for joining us here. We know you have a relationship uh, with that family, so we'll make sure to stay in touch with you to see what you learn moving forward. But the big headline of today, Amani Bates verbally committing to Michigan State. Matt, thank you.
All right, so Imani Bates committing to Michigan State verbally at least. Will he end up there? We'll discuss more coming up. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.